Hi, I'm Chef Joe from Clean Eating Magazine, and today we're using one of my favorite cheeses, low-fat feta, to make a delicious Greek yogurt and feta dip. So first we need to start with our cucumber. Now you want to make sure that you seed the cucumber so that your dip isn't watery because there's a lot of water in the seeds. So I just cut it in half and then taking a teaspoon, you can just scoop all the seeds out. And look, you can see all the water that's coming out there already. Okay, so scoop all the seeds. And we'll do this half as well. Now we can get rid of that. And you'll need a little cheese grater. And you want to grate all your cucumber skins and all. Some people like to peel cucumber, I don't. I like to keep the skins on because it adds a lot of fiber in there as well. So you probably need about half a cucumber grated. And then we're also going to squeeze this cucumber out so that we squeeze even more water out. You want your cucumber to be as dry as possible. This smells so good. It's so nice and fresh. Cucumber is one of my favorite ingredients. So here we go. Make sure you get all the little cucumber bits from inside the grater. Now you need a couple of layers of paper towel and you can just scoop everything right into the center and roll it up. This is really going to help get all the water out. So squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. It's okay if the paper towel rips a little bit. It just really helps to absorb and keeps all the cucumber intact. If you try and squeeze with your hands, you get little cucumber bits kind of falling out into the water. We want to make sure we save it all. You can just empty this into a bowl. Okay, so now we need to add some flavor. So we've got some fresh garlic. Now if you've got a big clove, use half. If you've got a regular size clove, use the whole thing. And my favorite tool, the rasp, to really get that garlic nice and fine. When you're making dips, you wanna make sure that garlic is really, really minced up and really almost pureed into a pulp because no one needs to bite into half a clove of garlic when they're eating their dip, right? Now, I think I call this my favorite tool, right? Isn't everything my favorite? Well, I call a lot of things my favorites because why would I show you something that I don't like, right? Okay, so make sure you get my favorite tool. These are great. Now, you need to add a little bit more flavor with some fresh herbs. And fresh herbs, of course, add lots of flavor without adding fat. So I love dill. This is perfect for this. If you don't have dill, you can use cilantro. It would be a nice option. Or maybe some flat leaf parsley. So you can just chop it up nice and coarsely. It doesn't have to be too fine. These are really lovely finishing herbs anyway. So you can have a few, you know, larger chunks of dill in there. Why not? It's not like the garlic. Not the same thing. Okay, so just run your knife through it. And dill is in. Now, a little bit of lemon juice, of course, because this brightens up the flavor. And how could we forget our feta, low-fat feta? And non-fat Greek yogurt. This is such a perfect ingredient for dips because it has the thickness of a full-fat sour cream or mayo. And of course, it's non-fat. Perfect. There we go. And this is your dip. Simple, simple, simple. Now this is a perfect dip to enjoy with vegetables, or you can serve it alongside some grilled lean pork or chicken. This looks so good. For more clean dip recipes, visit us again at cleaneating.com, and don't forget to pick up a copy of Clean Eating Magazine. We'll see you soon.